Hi everyone, this is Paris de Bono of the Fortune Teller Shop. And I've been watching the news and um, a lot of reporters and people, commentators are asking what's going on with Putin? How does he feel? What is he thinking? And of course, nobody can really answer that except Putin himself or perhaps a fortune teller. So let's see what the cards want to tell us about how Putin feels about his uh, decision to create this war with Ukraine. How does he feel about his mission? So I'm using my um, using my Albus tarot cards. Okay, Albus tarot cards. So how does Putin feel about things so far? One, two, let's just pull out three first. How does he feel? Okay, so he's holding on. This is about money as well. If we look at the card, it literally says stubborn, holding on, stingy and possessive. So this can be read two ways. It could be read that he's not changing his mind. And also it could be something about money. Okay, withholding, not open, not sharing, doesn't let new opportunity in. Okay, uh, moving forward. The Six of uh, Swords is about people moving forward. Now this could be read a couple of ways as well. This could be read that civilians are trying to escape you know, it's got um, people on a boat, women and children are huddled up, trying to get out, okay? And the hermit is someone who feels alone. So now the middle card, if I go back to that, it could also mean progress, like he's trying to progress forward. So it shows here moving forward, travel, progress, leaving troubled situation, seeking, moving away from turbulence and searching. So there's a feeling here of this representing the people escaping, but it could also be that Putin is searching for something and his feeling looks like alone with the, with the hermit. Hermit uh, usually represents someone who's by themselves. So alone time, self-aware, soul searching. So I think he is definitely, you know, doing that soul searching. Many people are uh, surprised that he has a soul, but apparently he does, according to this card, soul search, uh, spiritual discovery, time out. So I think he's really, you know, processing all of this stuff. I'm going to take out two more. One and two. Okay, so the Seven of Cups and the High Priestess. High Priestess represents things that are secret and hidden hidden things, so mystery, intuition, esoteric, not revealed, hidden from view. So I think he's definitely hiding and he's probably got obviously a lot of secrets and a lot of things that he has not revealed to the people and population and public. And the Seven of Cups represents someone who's kind of like up in the air, fantasy, wishful thinking, unreal. Uh, choices, imagination. This can also represent someone who's dreaming and not really dealing with reality. I often call this the fantasy card because this man has got all these cups in the sky and nothing's grounded or solid, but it's all up in the clouds. So possibly he has a lot of ideas and ideals about how things should be, but it's all up in the air and nothing is solid or grounded. Okay, so I'm going to ask the Lenormand cards now. These are called the Lenormand Learner's Deck. We're going to ask the same thing. How does Putin feel about his operation to liberate Ukraine from wherever he's trying to liberate it from? Okay, so let's see. How does he feel? I'm going to just use three to begin with. How does he feel? Okay, so there we have the ship again. Now the tarot card also had that moving forward card, the ship. 
So he's definitely progressing, stars. He's got a lot of hopes. And the moon. The moon looks like he's feeling confident. Um, so this is about his, you know, it could be anything to do with military movement, okay? So the ship uh, could be the planes that he's using, even the tanks are moving forward and they're scattering out like the stars. And he seems quite content in some ways because the moon to me represents like something like a so generally a positive card now again we've got reputation reflection how you were seen by other people so probably he is being seen by people the way that he wants to be seen okay uh, modes moods two faces emotions past memories phases mystery intuition so there's again a feeling of mystery and intuition similar to the uh, High Priestess card we had in the Tarot. The moon and the stars together to me is also destiny because these two are heavenly bodies. Okay, so there's a feeling of him fulfilling some sort of destiny. Now the stars also can represent um, America, uh, United States of America, and it can also represent the EU because they have a lot of stars on their... Um, on their flags so there's a sort of like another symbolism in there okay so he's moving spreading out his reputation he feels is strong and his reputation he feels is correct in the sense of how people are seeing him okay let's see ring he's very committed he wants to unite and he's going to do it in a very punishing aggressive way so he wants to unite Ukraine with Russia um, he has a lot of dreams about that he feels like it's his destiny okay but he's not afraid to use discord anger arguments repeated action physical activity conflicts and punishment okay so I'm going to do the sum total now so I'm going to add up all the numbers and see what the outcome is of that. So let's see, we've got number 3 plus 16 plus 32 plus 25 plus 11 equals 87. 8 plus 7 equals 15. So we're going to look through the cards and find number 15, which is the bear. So he's the bear. Bear is dominating, controlling, bossy. Okay, if we look at the card, it says bossy, strength, someone big, wealth, overbearing, unbearable, uh, cranky, moody, aggressive, confrontational, and powerful. So I think that sums it up. That's how he feels. He feels like he's in charge and he feels like he's doing what he is meant to do. And he feels like it's his mission and his destiny. He's not afraid to use violence to unite people the way he thinks they should be united. It's almost like a bad marriage. It's almost like a violent husband forcing his wife to stay in the marriage. That's kind of what it feels like. So now I'm going to ask some more advice. Okay, this time I'm going to use the Neon Lights deck just for some advice about how Putin feels about his war on Ukraine. How does he feel? One and two. No regrets. And this is the sign you've been looking for. So what I'm gathering is basically he has no regrets. I mean, it just basically says it. No regrets. And this is the sign you've been looking for. I think it just sums it up. He has no regrets. He feels like he's doing what he needs to do to get things the way that he thinks they should be. 
This is Paris de Bono of The Fortune Teller Shop.